Hey, hello my friends. Hope everybody is doing well today. It's a beautiful day in Raleigh, uh, November 7th, 2023. This is one of my do-it-yourself <clears throat> videos. How to replace a belt on a, a car. Vibrance. There's two different types of these vacuum cleaners. This is your kind of your basic model. The other one has an adjustment here for the the rug and the agitation and everything else but this is just your basic model I'm going to show you how to do this pretty simple all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver some decent hand strength not a whole lot of hand strength and it's it, it's that simple and I'm going to show you some other tips and tricks as we're going along and stuff like that so let's get this show on the road Someone actually gave me this uh, vacuum cleaner this is the old belt I'll talk about that I, it fell out when I was looking at it the other day. Um, somebody gave me this vacuum cleaner. It looks like it's never been used. Um, I also use one of these. I know it's only going to be one Phillips screw, but I also use one of these magnetic things to put the screw or screws in so I don't lose them. So if this thing falls, it'll stay in the uh, in the pan. All right, I'm going to move this, put this stuff over here. You're obviously going to need a flat surface. Um, this is just an old hospital meal tray I got from years and years and years ago that I kind of use in the garage. You're going to um, click this back, flip it over. Um, if you're going to do this on your table, make sure you lay something down so uh, your other half doesn't get all mad if you scratch up the table. And I'm going to move the camera over so we can get a better view of what I'm doing here. All right, as you can see, I kind of lucked out. This thing looks brand spanking new, or at least hardly ever used. This dirt here is from my dusty, dirty, yucky garage. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very, very simple. This whole process almost worked. The whole process here is almost good for any vacuum cleaner. You're going to basically take whatever screws off the bottom. This just says one screw, which is really, really cool. Uh, I know I remember some of the um, the Hoovers I've done and everything else. The um, there's usually a couple screws here. The um, the Eureka is a couple screws there. The Dysons have some screws all over the place. You're either going to use a Phillips screw, screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, or a hex wrench, um, or a um, Torx wrench. Uh, I don't know what what the different ones want to do, but this is just. A Phillips screw, a big Phillips screw is just in the center there. And I'm going to move this stuff down here, see, so the screw doesn't go anywhere. Now, this was a little tricky. I had to push this in. These tabs get pushed in, but this kind of just came out on her own. It's a hinge on the front. That's another belt I was trying to jam on there, but <laughs> it didn't fit. It was an old Hoover belt. All right, so your belt, this was the original belt that was on there. Obviously, it was broken. What do you mean it was broken? It looks like it's brand new. Well, they dry rot, and it sat for a while, this vacuum cleaner. This belt looks pretty dry rotted. It's cracked and everything, as you can see. How often should I change the belt, Paul? I recommend uh, once a year. Here are these belts. Now, I'm going to tell you where I bought these from. <laughs> I'm a huge eBay guy. Huge. Love eBay. eBay's been good to me. Got these on Amazon for six bucks, I think. Got them delivered the next day. Um, so, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, um, and these are, the belt is... Well, there is no number on there, but I will put the number on the, uh, in the description below of the, um, of the video I'll even take a picture of this so you know I think it's a nine inch belt so you're gonna do this I'm gonna come around and show you on the other side let me take that down so we don't have any crashing things and like I said this process is gonna be good for almost any vacuum cleaner you're gonna deal with so it, the layout may be different uh, this piece this rod may be further closer whatever uh, you're going to take this and finagle it around that piece like that now you're going to always let me get a little close-up of that 
you're going to always put this p you're going to put the belt on the drive uh thing right there first don't try and put it around here and then try and finagle it around it's not going to work it's going to take you forever and you're going to get frustrated and my whole point here is not to frustrate you guys but to show you guys how to fix things on your own you're going to pull this out this roller this is a great time if this was dirty it's a little dirty but it's not just, just dust if this was dirty, it'd be a great time to pick all this out with a brush or with your hand, clean all these out. Sometimes there's hairs and cat hairs and dog hairs all in this. Uh, you would cut these away, but this is pretty clean. Put this back. You're going to, first we're going to, now this may take a little finagling here. You're going to put the belt around. You're going to, like I said, take some hand strength. See that little... That little white thing there. Here, hang on. Let me show you. That little white thing, little knob there, is going to go slide right into this to this here. There we go. Okay, put that in there. There we go. I did it wrong. Put that in. Put that in in first, and then just finagle it down. Now this is really important. Because you don't want your belt to, um, you want to make sure it's kind of on the track there where the old belt was. You want to make sure that the that it's rolling. Your roller is is rolling and free spinning, not free spinning, but the belt is um, doing that. Because if this is hung up anywhere, you're going to snap this belt. And when you buy the belt, you usually get two. And like I said, it's a really good idea to replace the belt uh, once a year. It's that simple. Now I'm going to go put the uh, the bottom piece on, making sure that those are pushed in all the way and they're sitting down in the in the thing. They are. Well, like I said, different vacuum cleaners operate differently. This one has the little hinge. These these are kind of like hinges on the front. Okay, like I said, I put the, the hinges on. Make sure it's make sure this still spins freely. It should, but just make sure it does. If it doesn't, take it off and make sure that it's not hung up or anything. I'm gonna stick the screw in here. Oops! I'm gonna stick the screw in there. Careful, you're screwing in the plastic. But somebody told me years ago, we should just go a little back, like you're loosening it. See here, click, and then you know you're right in the threads. Because sometimes people start doing angles and stuff, so just reverse it a little bit. So you hear the click, a little slight click, you'll feel in the screwdriver, you'll hear it sometimes, and you'll know once you hear that click, then you start tightening in, then you know your threads, you're lined up with your threads. A friend of mine that does printer repair told me that when I was working with him. And that is it basically it. I will turn it on to see if it works. It should work just fine. And that is it. So remember, replace the belt once a year. If you can, be great. Even if it's sitting, this vacuum cleaner was sitting, obviously. I don't think they even used it. Um, I've had it for a year now, and it takes me a while to get things going sometimes, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to put this on eBay, and I'm going to try and sell this on eBay, which I should. I've sold vacuum cleaners before on eBay. It's my one of my businesses I do. Okay, so I'm going to try and sell this. I'm trying. I'm probably going to sell. It probably will sell on eBay because there's a lot of them that do sell on eBay. And I've sold vacuum cleaners before on eBay. Um, how are you going to ship this thing? A side note after showing you how to do the, to do the belt. How are you going to ship this? Well, I'm going to uh, telescope some boxes together. Probably some Lowe's Home Improvement small heavy duty boxes. Probably three or four of them. I'll make the first one, put some packing material on the bottom to protect this, um, put the vacuum cleaner in, telescope the second one, 
probably bring it to about this high. Telescope the third one, squishing it down and putting the packing material. And I'll put the bubble wrap or air bags, whatever I could find around here to protect it. And like I said, I've sold several vacuum cleaners before on eBay with very success and made decent money on it. Um, I don't know what this is going to go for. I forget. But there you go. That's how you replace a belt on a car. Vibrance. Uh, very simple. Like I said, this is the base model, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how the other model goes, but this proceed process basically works for all vacuum cleaners. Like I said, it may have a different bottom and the backing plate, or whatever they call it. The plate might be different, different layout, different screws. You might use uh, an Allen wrench type uh, thing. It might use Torx screws, um, whatever. Like I said, always uh, I always use a little metal, a little metal magnetic tray. Costs about seven bucks, I think, uh, anywhere, big box stores, uh, Harbor Freight, wherever, online, Amazon, eBay, whatever. So that's basically it. Please, uh, if you found this helpful, please like the video, please subscribe. I try and do a lot of uh, do it yourself. Tons of eBay stuff on how to sell on eBay if you're interested in that. Um, don't forget I have the, the eBay meetup group. We meet second Thursday of the month. It, uh, November's meeting will be a Zoom. Uh, December's meeting will be live uh, at a local Panera. All the information is in the uh, links below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I really hope this helped you out and saved you some money. It's a very simple process. Working on a lot of things is really easy. Just people think it takes a lot of time and they can't do it. So, all right, have a great day.